Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to take this photo together in the location and at the end of this video I just want to take about some... Where is my intro? Okay, I'm sorry, I've just forgot it. It took me three nights to make it and now you have just forget it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. And at the end of this video... Play the intro right now! Okay, let's play that intro. So at the end of this video, I will just talk about how I know if my photo is correctly exposed during taking the photo because yeah, you know, when you are taking photos during sunrise, yeah, you, the sun is in the frame and there's a lot of highlights and shadows. And I just want to be sure that I don't have highlights on the photo because yeah, you know, the highlights can't be yeah, edited in the post production. I want my photo to, to be correctly exposed and I will talk about that at the end of this video. So let's go together at the end and take the photo and we will come back. Good morning everyone. So today I'm here near the house. I'm searching for a very simple composition, just a tree and a sunrise. And I am trying to take a photo of this tree here. And it's really so simple, just a tree and the rule of third, you know and yeah i was trying to take a lot of photos just to try to find which composition is the best for me because i don't want any background any distraction background like buildings or you know something like that i think this is the first time i'm not using a tripod because uh, my shutter speed is one 250 of the second and i'm using f 5.6 because there's yeah there's nothing like foreground or background there's only this tree and it's wide away uh, far away I mean and I don't need focus stack or something like that or a lot of things to be in focus yeah I'm trying to take only one photo or or a panorama also Just making sure that there's no handshake or something like that. But my shutter speed is so fast. That's why I don't need any tripod or... Or there will... Yeah, obviously. Will, will not be any handshake. My shutter speed is so fast and... Yeah, it's so easy. I like photos like that. You don't need a tripod or anything. Try to make it easy as much as you can. But yeah, at the same time, easy but beautiful composition. I think this composition is beautiful. Before I start recording, I was just moving around the tree. I were in the opposite place and I'm trying to take photos from that place there. Uh, the, my background will be like that a lot of trees and that also and yeah a lot of distraction that's why I was just trying to find the best background and where there is no distraction or something like that And what I'm trying to do also, I'm, I turn the bracketing on, I take three photos, normal exposure, one f-stop underexposed and one f-stop overexposed. Yeah, so just to make sure there's nothing like uh, highlights area. And I'm not trying to make an HDR or something like that. I like the black in photos like that. I like the contrast that the, the sun made. I don't love HDR. <laughs> So 
so welcome back everyone as you can see here I have just taken a lot of photos uh, I want just to be sure that yeah as you can see I take also different exposures and I took different photos as the Sun started to rise from here so that I can choose which one is best for me and here I have just done some editing and this photo here and this photo here yeah I was just playing with the place of the Sun here on the right or on the left yeah I want just have a lot of possibilities to choose the best one for me and here I was just trying the one by one crop and now I want to talk about something to be able to take photos like that not overexposed photos now I just want to say I'm not that master who mastered the histogram but I just want to talk about this small problem which I have a lot of photos which I regret not taking care of histogram while I was taking that photo so the first thing I want to talk about as you can see the common thing of this old photo is that here in the highlights I don't have I don't have like like this something point up like let's take the exposure as you can see here if I took the exposure I will have in the highlights section I will have something like pop up here and that's what I don't want to have while I while, while I was taking the photo if I look to this photo here as you can see the highlights is not touching the top of the histogram here the same and let's see other photos here for example I don't have highlights and every photo I take or every two or three photos because the light was changing so fast I was go back up after every photo on the location go back and check my histogram on the camera and just be sure that I don't have anything in this place here the highlights see this photo here as you can see also I don't have highlights yeah this photo is so underexposed but I was just taking care of the highlights I can edit like that for example and open the shadow a little bit yeah I can edit this photo and make it as I want but when I have a very harsh highlights I I can't edit them and this is the three photos that I show you in the video as you can see here I don't have as I said I don't have highlights here if I take the exposure I will have as you can see here the highlights and the whites going all the way up that means I have overexposed photo and if I have the photo from the camera the histogram the photo I took like this I think I will not be able to correct it in post-production and this is the photo that I said I love them the most as you can see yeah all the histogram is here in the mid tones or in the middle and I don't have a lot of highlights now I just want to talk about a photo which I regret very much because I was trusting my exposure parameter now let's take a look at this photo here as you can see if you look at this photo you feel that the photo is correctly exposed and there's no problem but for me I I really had this white spot because whatever I do I can't bring back the information from this white spot here let's go to the Lightroom and see what I'm talking about so this is the photos the photo made from 10 photos panorama as you can see if we come to this white spot here whatever I do I bring back the highlights and even if I bring back the shadow there's still here white spot without any information and I hate having that in my photos I really think that this is not a professional photo when you have the just white white point like this you don't have any information in it and you can't repair it why that happened to me is just because I didn't take care of the histogram as you can uh, as you see here 
my histogram in whites area and highlights area I have pop up and touching the top here which means and even if I select here show highlights clipping you can see that all this area is highlights over overexposed area and can't can't be repaired and as I say that happened to me just because I didn't take care of my histogram the highlights and the whites areas and I just was trusting my exposure parameters and that's why you don't you really don't have to trust your exposure parameters my exposure parameters was telling me that the photo is correctly exposed so as you can see right here this is the exposure parameters and what we always do is that we play with the shutter speed just to make sure that the photo is not underexposed now the exposure parameter tells me that the photo is underexposed and if I make a slower shutter speed now he is telling me that the photo is overexposed and what I made in that photo is just I put it to the middle like that just to make sure that the photo is not overexposed and not underexposed but unfortunately I didn't check my histogram now this is only an example this is a photo and after taking it you can yeah come here to the uh, histogram and just make sure that as I said you don't have in the highlights or whites area you don't you don't have uh, yeah overexposed area or histogram is not touching the top of the photo here so thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed the video on the location if you enjoyed talking about exposure if you like the photos or you want to see other videos in the future please subscribe and see you next week bye